Hi, it's Kitsio, and I'm here with some long-awaited news on the future of the secret world. The Lovecraftian MMO by Funcom hasn't seen a content patch since May of last year, but early this week it was announced that the game will be seeing a complete re-release under the name Secret World Legends. Due out later this spring, Secret World Legends will be free to play and feature revamped gameplay and updated visuals. It will contain all the content from the base game as well as all the issues up to Tokyo. Tokyo will be released in a later patch along with Nightmare Raids and Dungeons. So what does a re-release actually entail? Well, the story and the dungeons are remaining the same, but it seems the gameplay is getting a revamp. Character progression will be done through levels, with each level giving increased survivability and damage output, and the ability wheel is getting simplified to make it easier for new players. Quests have been redesigned to flow better from hub to hub, possibly in the form of new breadcrumb crests between areas. The visual of the games are also getting a little polish in the form of improved character models and animations, although it will still be in the old graphics engine. If you are currently, or have been, a Secret World player, you probably have the same question we all had. What is going to happen to our characters and progression? Well, this is where the bad news hits. Secret World Legends is going to be on an entirely new server, and there will be no option to import your character's appearance, gear, or progress. The Secret World servers will be remaining up, for how long we are not certain, but all new content will be exclusive to Secret World Legends. They have promised that in-game purchases of vanity items will be moved across, and there is a name reservation system for the new servers, but you will essentially be starting from scratch. The end game of the Secret World was extremely grind-heavy, and the fact of the matter is that players who dedicated their time into upgrading Aegis and their museum are going to see no reflection of this in the new game. This decision may see a lot of current players become extremely disenfranchised with Funcom and the Secret World as a whole. As for their decision to make the Secret World Legends free to play, only time will tell how much microtransactions will impact gameplay. The Secret World was previously on the expensive end of MMOs. Making the game free-for-all will certainly attract players who wanted to try it without investing that much money. There is, however, the issue that it may offer those who can pay unfair advantages over others, such as what happened in Arc Age. At the moment, all we know about the system is that there is a currency known as Aurum, which can buy things such as new weapons and inventory space, and that there is a subscription called the Patreon Rewards Program, which will apparently offer extra features, additional convenience, and in-game bonuses. Hopefully those bonuses won't have any effect on power levels in PvE or PvP. Is Secret World Legends worth checking out? It's too early to say at the moment. If the changes to combat and progression are positive, and Funcom begin releasing new story content again, this could be the revitalization of the franchise. Continue to stagnate on new updates, however, or the game becomes pay to win, then perhaps it'll be the end of it. You can sign up for the Co's beta now over at the website if you want to get your hands on it before it gets released. I'll be making videos when the game releases with my impressions of it too. So if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.